Yeah. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, four, nine, eight, seven, two, two, one, six, three. Thank you very much. And there you go. Just making sure I've still got my wallet. It's hard enough in the real world to make sure your personal data is not being accessed by people or seen by people that they shouldn't be seeing it. And the same challenges obviously exist in the application world and inside the data in our databases. Systems do have to store sensitive data from time to time, and we have to make sure that people don't either maliciously or inadvertently see data they're not meant to. For that, we have a facility called Data Redaction. This video is not about an introduction to data redaction. You can check that out via the link up there somewhere or up there. This is more about the good stuff that's come in 23AI that makes data redaction a much more compelling solution for your business. Data redaction has always been sort of a, a good versus evil sort of compromise. We want to make sure the systems that store data can use that data and they can be have good functionality and satisfy business requirements. But at the same time, we want to make sure that no one can see or exploit data that they shouldn't be seeing. Now, that sounds straightforward, but in reality, it can be non-trivial. If I'm hiding, say, the salary for someone's employment table, well, obviously, I don't want to see an individual salary, but does should I still be allowed to see the total salary for a department, maybe the whole company? Should I get access to things like the median or the average? These are discussions that you know, need to satisfy business requirements. In 19C and all releases up until now, we've generally erred very, very strongly on the side of caution. We don't want to allow any possibility that maybe redacted data could be seen. So we've been quite restrictive in what functions we allow on data that's been redacted. In 23AI, we've improved upon this, but to show that progression, I thought I'd show an example here where we look at the facility in 19C and how things have improved in 23AI. Now for this example, I'm gonna have two users. One's called Redact Admin, that'll be the schema that owns our sensitive data. And one's called Redact User, which is just a general ad hoc user which has read-only access to the data and it should see only redacted data. So I'll start with 19C. I'll connect as SysDBA and create my Redact Admin user. I need to connect as SysDBA because I need to grant execute on the DBMS Redact package, which controls all the creation of policies, etc. Now I'll create my Redact User schema and give him create session because he's just going to do queries. I'll now connect as redact admin and create the M table. It's just going to be a copy of scott.emp. That's the table that's going to have some redaction policies on it. For this demo, I want to make sure that no one can see the employee name and their salary. I'm going to have two redaction policies to do this. First, I'll use add policy in order to create a nullify rule on the salary. That will make sure that no one can see the salary. Then I'm going to go alter that policy and add in the employee name as well. In this case, we're going to use randomize to randomize out that data. People familiar with DBMS Redact will know I've made that very common mistake because I've just gone with expression one equals one. I've of course redacted it from myself as well. So even now I'm logged on as Redact Admin. If I query the employee table, you can see, yep, the employee name has been redacted and the salary has been nulled out as well. That's probably not what I want, so let me go change that policy now. I'll alter it such that I'll add an expression for who's connected. In this case, when the session user is not myself, redact admin, then what will happen is anyone else will have redacted data, but I'll still be able to see it. So having done that, now I can validate that, yep, I can now see the data as it was meant to be seen. But if I now connect as the redact user account, I can no longer see the employee name and salary as I expected. Now that all seems fine so far, but under the covers, the moment I put those redaction policies on, some restrictions have been introduced. If I reconnect now as Redact Admin and I want to expand, for example, my application or my database, let's see what happens. Maybe I want to add a virtual column. Well, unfortunately, that's blocked. Maybe for performance reasons, I want to add a function-based index on the employee name column. Nope, that's blocked as well. Maybe there's some optimizer challenges, so I need to add some extended statistics on one of the redacted columns. I can't do that either. All these things stem from a common issue, which is those facilities add hidden columns to the data dictionary for that table. And because, as I said, we err on the side of caution, 
those data dictionary columns we don't want people probing at. And so if it's going to add a hidden column, we block the operation because those columns have redacted facilities on them. But perhaps the bigger picture is not things like function-based indexes, etc., but more the day-to-day -day usage. There are restrictions on the queries you can run on those tables. For example, I can create a view on the table. That's no problems. But what happens when I try to query it? It is blocked. And when it comes to just ad hoc SQL, things aren't particularly intuitive. For example, I can do an aggregation on a redacted column, and that's fine. The result is still redacted. However, if I nest that aggregation inside another query, then suddenly it's blocked from use. Similarly, I can do a group by, and that'll work fine in isolation. But if I take that group by, put it in an inline view, then once again, that's blocked. Distinct is another form of interesting aggregation. Distinct in isolation works fine, but the moment I try to put an order by on that statement, I get an error. The errors aren't particularly always useful in terms of telling me that it was about redaction, but in particular, this makes it hard for developers to build applications. How do you know which SQLs are going to run and which ones are not going to run once you've got redaction in place? So let's repeat this now with 23AI to see how things have improved. Before we talk about queries, let's just talk about even the setup process, which has now been nicely streamlined. Notice I'm not connecting a SysDBA anymore. I'm connecting just a system, a less important user account, or any DBA account will do. The reason I can do that is we now have introduced a new privilege to control redaction. That's all I have to grant to the Redact admin user. For my Redact user account, notice I'm taking advantage of another cool little 23AI feature, the schema level privilege. That'll give me access to everything in the Redact admin schema as opposed to doing it for each individual object. Now I'll go ahead and create the emp table as the Redact admin user, and I'll go ahead and add the two policies as I was doing in the 19C example. But there's an important thing to note here. The first edition works fine. I've gone and I've nullified the salary column as before. When I come to add my second redaction API call, notice I get an error. And that's actually a correction to a previous mistake in our API. When you're adding a column to an existing policy, it made no sense to actually include the expression parameter because the expression belongs to the policy, not just an individual column. It was a mistake to allow that to be in there, and we've corrected that in 23AI, so if you were taking advantage of that in earlier versions, you'll need to correct your scripts. I think this is actually a tidier implementation. But once that's fixed, we can move on now to actually seeing what facilities are improved in 23AI. I'll go through the exact same examples we just did for our 19C database. I try to create a virtual column, now, no problems. I try to create a function-based index. Also again, no problems. I need to create some extended stats. No problems there as well. A lot of the restrictions have been lifted in 23AI, which makes life easier for application developers. In 19C, I could create a view, but I was unable to use it. In 23AI, yes, I can create the view still, but now I can use it. And notice importantly, the data results still are redacted. So I'm not bypassing any security issues here. Now I'll connect as my redact user and explore some of those problematic queries we saw before. I can query the view and that works fine and I'm still getting redacted data. I can do the aggregations that I could do before, but notice now when I go ahead and take those aggregations and use them in more complicated statements like nesting them in inline views, then that works fine as well. My aggregation works by nesting. If I go look at my group by query from the 19C example, that works in isolation, but also now works when it becomes nested in the inline view and my results are still redacted as I would expect. And finally, my distinct clause is working like it was in 19C, but I can now also add an order by. Now, these particular examples aren't special. It's more the fact that what we've tried to do is make data redaction not a imposition on the element of building applications for your database. We should hopefully always be able to have redaction almost as if no one's aware that it's there, yet it still protects your systems from showing data that they perhaps should not be showing to general customers. I should note, this is not me saying that you just throwing on redaction is instantaneous security of your sensitive data. Be aware, redaction is about the rendering of data, bringing data out to the outside world. If people have just generic ad hoc query access to your tables, then Using where clause predicates, they could use effectively uh, like a binary chop method to slowly hone in on what real data might be, even if it's redacted from their view. So be aware, 
Redaction is predominantly about applications that have a fixed set of queries and users do not have generic ad hoc query access. But the nice thing in 23AI is now that data redaction should no longer be an imposition when it comes to building applications to sit on top of your sensitive data.